Hi everybody and welcome to The Digital Life. In this video I'm gonna explain to you why I have switched my main desktop operating system from Linux back to Windows. And I know this is a very controversial topic so many people will completely disagree with me or even hate me for using Windows. And a lot of content creators these days are only making videos about how to switch from Windows to Linux and they are telling you you should never use Windows because it's just a crap and stupid operating system. You should always switch to Linux. And they are not even considering that other people may also switch back from Linux to Windows or use different operating systems. But I have found out that this is actually not true. Many people like me, mainly developers or DevOps focused persons or sysadmins are also feeling more and more comfortable with using Windows these days and some of them also have switched their main desktop operating system from Linux back to Windows or they are using both systems at the same time. But it seems no one is really talking about that, so let me just do that. First a few disclaimers before you watch this video. I'm not going to tell you that Windows is better than Linux in any way. I'm not going to tell you you should stop using Linux and switch to Windows. And I'm not trying to convince you to use any specific system or have any specific opinion. Because I really don't care so much about operating systems, they are just a tool to get my work done. But Christian, why do you make a video about this when you don't care about it? Well, I'm making this video because I want to address two main statements I hear a lot from people. The first statement is that people who are trying to tell you you should never use Windows because it's a crap, bloated operating system full of issues and it's bad for privacy, it's bad for security and you must use Linux instead. And the second statement is Especially beginners in the IT industry or people who want to become IT professionals, they believe they need to use Linux or switch to Linux because Linux is for the IT professionals, it's for hackers and all these guys and only stupid end customers are using Windows. And let me tell you this, these statements are complete nonsense because in IT it's not so important which operating system you are using it's much more important if you understand how things are really working and if you have experience with technologies that big companies are using or searching for. It's completely unimportant if you are able to install Arch Linux or which tiling window manager you are using, no one will ever care. But I know Linux is an important technology in the IT industry, big companies are using it and therefore I also make many many Linux videos and Linux how to's and tutorials. But that doesn't really mean that you need to use Linux as your main desktop operating system. It really just comes down to your personal preference what you want to use. So let me explain three main reasons why I have switched my main desktop operating system from Linux back to Windows. The first reason is I just like the desktop experience on Windows. Well, and that was not always the case. When I started to work with Windows, with Windows 95, 98, then Windows XP and Windows 7, I always hated the look and feel of the Windows desktop. I think it really never looked modern and nice and I really embraced the changes they tried when introducing Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 because they needed to do a change but it was poorly integrated and I think it never looked polished and consistently. But I think Microsoft has addressed all these things with Windows 10. Windows 10 has a nice look and feel, it looks modern and looks fluent and I think it's really quick and fast and it just works great for me. It has a great workflow and Microsoft is even improving these things with great open source tools like the Microsoft Power Toys where you have some kind of tiling window manager for Windows and it really fits to my workflow. I think it really works fine for me and I just embrace and like the look and feel and the desktop experience on Windows 10. The second reason is Microsoft and developer tools. So Microsoft always had developer tools that are great, but most of the time just for proprietary stuff. But the last past years Microsoft has introduced some great developer tools that are open source and also have some Linux background. For example, 
The Windows subsystem for Linux, that is really nice. You can install a full Linux kernel and a full Linux operating system in a tiny, small and efficient virtual machine inside your Windows 10 operating system. And that is very nice integrated with other developer tools that are just nice just like Visual Studio Code or Docker Desktop. And that's just because the Microsoft developers themselves are using these tools and they really like and love Linux as well. And overall, I just like the new direction the company is heading to. So I think it's nice to get themselves more open to open source. And I think this is a good way to do that. It's a good way to make developers happy. And I think these tools are just great. And the third reason is Windows and compatibility. So that is probably the most important reason and it ever was to use Windows instead of any other operating system because it can run all the software and application. Most of the hardware is supported right out of the box and you can run any computer games on Windows. Well, this is just a big reason why I have switched back from Linux to Windows because I just like the applications that are available on Windows. I'm using the Microsoft Office a lot. I really like OneNote, for example. I have all my documentations, all my knowledge base and all my cheat sheets documented in OneNote. I can access it from any mobile phone, from any laptop or device I want to use. And it's just nice and great. And a lot of creativity software like I'm using for making YouTube videos, editing, or creating thumbnails or graphics and logos and all these things, they are mainly only existing for Windows or Mac OS and not on Linux. And when I want to play computer games, that doesn't happen a lot these days to be honest, but when I want to do that, I just want that to work. I don't want to spend time on forums to have a look how things need to be done in order to make it work on Linux or anywhere else. So I just want to play computer games for one or two hours a day and I just need Windows for most of these things. I know Linux has improved very well in these areas, but when you are using Linux or macOS, you always will have some minor limitations. And I don't like that. I just want to get things done. I just want things to work. And Windows is just the best operating system for these applications. Well, I know there are alternatives on Linux available, but I don't want to use alternatives. I just like the original software. I like the features, the look and feel, and that it's just working and I want to use that. That is just the main reason why I have switched from Linux to Windows. Let me just go through some of the topics or the major complaints people have about Windows. And that's just mainly issues people will have, especially with Windows updates. That is security for some reason and also privacy. So although I'm on the insider build, so I'm always getting builds that are not declared as a release or stable release. I personally, I didn't run into any issues. I know people or some people will have issues, but that's just usual in IT in general. I'm working in IT support for many, many years and I have gone through a lot of issues on all operating systems on across different devices and different vendors. So so I know this is just something that is normal in IT. Every software, every application will have issues, but as I don't have any major complaints about Windows, that is not an argument for me why I should switch back to Linux. And people complaining about privacy are mainly complaining about collecting personal data. Did you ever read the Microsoft privacy policy? I mean, it's clearly described which data they collect, why they collect and how they process it. And it's also clearly defined how you can turn off the personal data collection. I know you can't turn off it completely, so it will collect telemetry data, but if you're working in the IT industry, you know that telemetry data is very important to make your products better, to identify which features of your system the customers are using the most. So it really just helps to find issues, to troubleshoot issues, and just makes your product better. So I don't have any major complaints about telemetry data. And I also think Windows is not less secure than Linux or macOS in general. I know most of malware and malicious scripts are existing for Windows because it's just so commonly used. But Windows offers a great collection of security tools right out of the box. So Windows Defender is really nice. They have a built-in firewall and also some advanced features like Windows sandboxing and all these things. You can also extend that with other protection software. And if you are not doing anything stupid and you have a good protection, 
you probably won't need to be afraid of anything. And I don't want to tell you you should stop using Linux or something like this. I am always using Linux in my day-to-day -day work. I'm using it on cloud developments, on servers. I'm using it in Windows Subsystem for Linux. So I really like and love Linux still. But as my main desktop operating system overall, I just like Windows 10 more. But that is just my personal opinion. You can of course disagree with me. And I want to tell you this. Don't listen to anybody who tried to convince you to use this or that specific operating system or to use this or that application. I mean, just try it out yourself. Try to understand how technology is really working and finally decide what system you feel the most comfortable with and what you like the most personally. And if you really want to become an IT professional, don't focus on all these arguing about operating system or arguing about this or that application. Focus on the technologies that companies are really using and searching and focus on the main certifications that matter to companies. So if you want to learn all this, I'm making great YouTube tutorials and YouTube videos, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also leave me a comment if I forgot to mention some important things. And you can also join my Discord server if you want to discuss or if you want to just connect with people who share the same interests like you. So thanks everybody for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.